Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 26 of our Tennis 2 and 5 Let's Play. Um, so today, I came up with a pretty awesome build that we're going to do. But we need one more painstaking block of diamond. I have been down here for a long time. Chilling out. Synthesizing blocks of diamond. Trying to get the number that we're going to need. Okay, because we're going to need a ton of diamond for this build, let me just tell you. We need a lot. Okay. So in here is where we're going to start. And we're going to open up this guy and bring this up to 64. Yeah, we need that many diamonds. But that's all that we're ever going to need for this base. Yeah, we're building a house. Only before we actually build the house, I thought it would be fun to set up a defense perimeter. You know, just for fun. So, let's pull out this stuff. Actually, let's put it all back in. We're not going to need that for just a minute. First of all, we need rubies. These rubies. Yeah, the laser mods rubies. We're going to need roughly 64 of them. No. Nope. We're going to need 128. So, there we go. And I am short four stacks of redstone. Well, this is easily resolved. Clients are in. And fill up all but four slots. Of my inventory. Like so. There we are. Okay. Throw these four in like this. Piece of glass. Okay. Got two stacks of rubies now. One's going to go in the middle. And the first thing we need to do is get this. I just need about 64 of these awesome sensor guys. Okay. Then, grab out all this on glass. Put that there. And we can make our lasers. There are a lot of things that I plan for the laser mod in the future. But the first one that I want to do is set up a defensive perimeter around my new house. So let's get to cracking on this. We're going to need three stacks of diamonds because we need 64 lenses for our lasers. Some purple dye for the lens color. That. And our color for round. We're going to do some stone purple lenses with a power of nine. And did these things really not stack? Oh, ouch. That hurts. So we need a lot of them. Ouch. Okay, well. We'll just have to take this with us, I suppose. Whoops. One too deep. So let's go check out the area that I've plotted out. So I use my mercurial eye to make a big plateau. This is where we're going to set it up. Then I use basalt cobble to map out where the lasers are going to be. So let's get a lens. We're going to go one, two, three, four. 
then four lenses. And then here, we're going to have our sensors. One, two, three, four. And then lasers. Oops, that one went, got placed wrong. Like that, four lenses. Cool, look at this. Oops, one too deep. So basically just in picture me going around my base setting up lasers for the next five ten minutes I'll be back oh I like that look at that guys that's pretty crazy now let me show you why I chose this laser let's actually keep these a little bit separated Okay. So this laser is a hybrid laser, is what it's called on the on the website, anyways. And basically, oh, looks like we have a visual bug. Ooh, ouch. So for whatever reason, these things still think they're on. Even though they're obviously all off. Okay, that's probably just uh, chunk issues. But anyways, basically, these lasers are a hybrid between the red and the blue. And blue is slowing and red is heat. So when they're on and you try to run through them, they're going to slow you down and burn you. Nothing can get through that thing. Nothing can get through. So, as you just noticed, it's pretty deadly. Okay, not pretty, it's, it's exceptionally deadly. Now, you might have thought, hey, what did you just do? You just lost all your XP. No, I didn't. I did not lose all my XP because, and I just thought of this myself, I actually went ahead and off camera, I made this cool thing, the Mind Stone. And I'll show you how he works right now. So basically this little guy, when you press G, he stores your, exper he stores, he stores your experience. Now if you want it back, you just right click. So I had 10 levels of experience, there they are. And now they're gone safely stored away in my alchemy bag. Cool. So, we can turn off that pesky death point. I actually changed my home and factory around. I changed this to be factory. I don't know where that... Okay, what is with these visual bugs? Because this is on. These should be on. Oh, what? It goes through my infernal armor. Okay, I don't understand this. These should all be off right now. Maybe it's just a visual bug with the Optifine or something. I'll be right back. Okay, now it's working. So if I go ahead and come up here, I can show you the wiring that I did. I just have a lever with a, a red alloy wire right there. And the reason you have to have these sensors is that they emit a redstone signal and they activate the next set of lasers. So I just have it ran along there, and then red ally wire, and that's the same in those two. So I have one switch to control the entire grid. And if I might say, my mini map looks pretty cool right now. 
four circular towers with dots, and then you activate that switch, and the entire grid comes online. Nothing can come in here now. Eventually, I might have like a lock system to where you have to put an item in, and it locks the entire grid down. See how it's actually working now. Cool. So I'm just going to leave those off for right now. There's no reason to have them on just sitting there. And now I can go back and build my base. And I don't think I've done anything in my volcano recently. Mm, no. I did find out, however, that this is as big as it's going to be. I was started digging around trying to hollow out, and there's no more room to hollow. So I can go down and hollow out bigger, but this is as big as this floor is going to be. Which is pretty good size, considering. I could probably fit my house in here. I love that switch. Okay. So, I did have my tree farm running for a little while, and then I shut it off. Um, let's go check on the bees. Why not? And then maybe we'll start building our house, because I smelted up a bunch of stone just for that purpose. So we have a common queen, a meadows princess, a common forest, a meadows princess, a common forest princess. I'll just reread that. And a common meadows queen. Cool. So let's throw that in there. And let's get out. Um, meadows will go all the way back here. Let's breed a meadows princess to a forest meadows. Uh, that guy doesn't need to do anything yet. Meadows Princess to a Forest Meadows. Oh, we got some Forest Meadows. Okay, cool. And this guy has a Forest Meadows as well. Cool. Let's see, we have 3 of 11 discovered. And... Drop those guys back in there. Let's go check on our centrifuges. <coughs> Because I had them running for a while. Oh yeah, tons of stuff. I also harvested my garden and replanted it whilst I was off camera. That's about all I've done. So you guys didn't miss much. I was just sitting here smelting stuff, getting some diamond blocks. Um. Oh, I did do one thing that's kind of big and important. So I did upgrade to the 1.1, oh, Equivalent Exchange 2 version 1.1. And there's this new item called the Alchemical Tome. Well, I made it just thinking, hey, it'll be cool, I'll have one, it'll be awesome. It's probably like this book of magical stuff, because on the wiki there wasn't anything about it. So I made it, and it's two Kleinstar Omegas covalent stuff in a book. Well, I went and stuck it in here to say, oh, What's it worth? This is after I'd played with it and been like, okay, so it can't power my power items, it doesn't have anything special, it doesn't open. I stuck it in here and ate it. But, I went back to the wiki a little bit later, and it says that this thing, when you put it in your transmutation table, it will consume the book and unlock everything. So if you now notice, I can unlock the pedestal, I can unlock anything in there that I want. And I did charge up my client star, just... I had left it over here. Chilling out. I do like the... I do really like the new interfaces, though. They look nice. 32 million. Cool. And I love how these things are global. So it doesn't matter where I'm at. I can just grab a pedestal out. And the pedestals might come into use a little bit later. But at the moment, eh. No reason. Now, I... I'm under serious debate with myself. What do I want to build my house out of? I'm thinking stone, but I'm also kind of thinking maybe it'd be cool to have it be made out of like a, a basalt or maybe even some marble in some places. I mean, I just don't know what I want to build this thing out of. Um, let's go over here. Cool.
we'll drop a loot portal over here. So let's figure, how do we want our house? I think I'm going to obviously do like a square, but I don't know how. And if you notice, I don't know how I manage this with just the mercurial eye, but this is a perfect square. So I was impressed with myself that I managed to make a perfect square. Out of a hill, basically. This was just a hill, if you notice. I just built it out a little bit. So it was truly just originally a little hill that I expanded into this bigger hill plateau basically and you know put a laser defense system on <laughs> so let's think here I think that maybe Looks like my sensors are just one block off of each other. Roughly. This one's this way. So far to move it that way, yeah. sensor and then nothing again Looks about right. I think I might end up moving it out a bit just to expand it. So let's go. Five out in each direction. Just trying to lay out the house, guys. Oh. I think this will be the final size. Now, the only question is, how do I want to build it? Like, I know I'm going to have, like, rooms in it, but I'm a really poor house designer, guys. I'm, I'm not very good at being creative with these things. I was just planning on uh, a square house with multiple levels and then a uh, just, uh, wooden floors. I think that's what I want anyways.
that looks like a pretty good sized house. Maybe I want another wood though. I just don't know. Because I've seen some really cool wood houses with stone floors. Maybe that's what I want. Wood house stone floor. I'm sorry guys, I'm just really indecisive. I want this house to look really nice, but I don't know how to get it to that point. Crap. You know, I love those guidelines on the minimap right now. They're helping me. Because if you look... I think it might show it like in the X mode. No. See those guidelines? You can just see them and then they're just helping me to guide myself to where I need to be. Anyways, so this looks nice. Now I think I need to go back and get some wood and try wood. But I don't know how wood's going to look in this texture pack. Hopefully it'll look nice. I think wood's gonna look nice. Yeah. What do you think guys? Wood house, stone floor, stone house, wood floor? I don't know. And then a window right here, too high. And then the, an overhang and the ceiling. So basically the way it would go is it'd go like this. And there'd be like this lip. And that'd be the window. I'd probably do windows like this. And then, uh, either the roof would be like this, with the flat like that, and then there'd be the ceiling. Hmm. One sec, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I decided on a design, finally. Now, it's obviously going to be a square house, but that's okay. I'm going to definitely be able to build, uh... I guess you could call it like a somewhat of a base. It's going to be a house though. This is the design that I have settled on. I'm going to probably go up for several floors and down for a few floors. But it's going to be levels like this. Glass will be in here. Wooden floor. Wooden ceiling. Two above. And it's going to look something like this. And then that'll all be filled in and there'll be a roof or even another level up. So this is probably going to end up being one of those tower projects that take forever but are so worth it when you're done. And I love the fact that stone bricks don't break. So I decided that the way I want to do this definitely these stone bricks because they just look really sharp. Just 
still in this nice little area. Yeah, I think that'll look nice. And then if we just fly down into the middle-ish. Cool. So now, I can just pick up this stuff. And for the next few minutes, just do this. Or, you know what I could have done? Could have used transmutation mode with my mercurial eye and just transmuted it all to stone. I mean, not to stone, to wood. Too late. Oh well, I thought of that a little bit after the fact, but that's okay guys, I'll spend the next few minutes hollowing this, and then I'll use my Mercurial Eye to put the wood down. Yeah, I'll be back. Got some work to do still. Okay, um, I've just decided something. I don't like this at all. I'm probably going to get rid of the lasers. Yeah, they're a cool concept, but I'm going to plateau. I'm going to expand the plateau by probably several more blocks. Now, at one point in time, I might put the lasers in, like, the walls of my house and have them be able to point out. I mean, I don't know what I'll do with them. But right now, I'm just going to put them into storage, take down the towers, and I'm going to expand this house. Because this house is too damn small. It's too tiny. It needs to be bigger. Because what I want to do is I want to have a hallway here, and then a huge room, and then another hallway. And then I want to have three rooms on each side for my main floor. And they're not going to be my typical little tiny rooms. They're probably going to be like 11 by 11s or something like that, or bigger. So I kind of want to have like a, a huge sized house. Um, like I think minimum size is going to be as big as the plateau that I have right now is, so that's why I have to take down the lasers. So I'm going to take down stuff and expand this house, push it out quite a ways. And I'll just be using the transmutation mode of this guy. Uh, if I remember right, I can just... Not like that. I want to go... Yeah. Um, not those, though. And I'll just be transmuting... Just, just picture me transmuting and extending this out um, quite a ways. It's going to be huge. Um, I'll probably catch you guys in the next episode after I've built up the house and then we'll work on the interior stuff I, mean, I don't know if you guys like watching me build please let me know and I'll do that more often I mean right now I just I don't find personally okay is this on how is this thing set count on three long because I'm expanding here And I'm sprinting and hitting fast. I'm literally mining faster than I can sprint. I don't know how big this house will be, but I know it's going to be big. <laughs> Huge. In all likelihood. So... Something like this. All I know is it's going to be kind of uh, big and I want it to be almost imposing. I don't want no sissy house. Come on, what are you talking about? 
I suppose I could lose. I could you leave the lasers and I don't know. I like the lasers. They give it kind of a I'm a secure compound look, but they're not really necessary right now. So I might end up not. Yeah, I'm not gonna have them for the moment, anyways. Oh, got that. That was almost a bad. Um, probably should disable the lasers beforehand. Four and four. Yeah, that looks right. Uh, why are those still there? Those should not still be there. Four lasers, four lenses, one sensor. Okay, guys. So let's go. Just turn off the switch, and then I can start taking my laser system apart. I know it was a cool concept, but uh, pointless for right now because I don't really have a use for it. I might use it for elevators. That might be kind of cool. Oh, let's try those stupid lenses don't stack. going to be 64 slots in my alchemical chest devoted just to lenses. Ah, goodness. Unfortunately for me, the hoe is just as fast on the dirt as a huh, the hammer is. Okay. Anyways, I'll just be taking these down and uh, extending out this house because I want it to be absolutely gigantic. I want it to basically be a mansion, fortress thing. And I'm not having no sissy, sissy crap house. Uh uh. I want this thing to be huge. So where at all? as well okay so I'm gonna be taking down my house guys I'll just be expanding it making this plateau big and I'll I'll catch you guys next time I'll probably make this big enough to where I can have like a yard but anyways I'll catch you guys next time for till then take it easy guys just me interjecting really fast we got um all resituated and look at how full this alchemical chest is holy crap that's 64 lenses oh well I remade those sensors by the way just to make sure I have them on hand if I need them. Um, but for now, guys, I think I'm just going to be chilling back at my other base. I'll be disassembling those towers, probably with my destruction catalyst or something like that. I think I'm actually going to make another Clan Star Omega and charge it so that I can just have two one to power my items, one to power my Mercurial Eye. Just because it would be nice to have it for when I need to destroy stuff and have one of my Mercurial Eyes. I'll probably make another Client Star Omega between this episode and the next. Just notifying you guys um, of that. I don't know why I'm putting my stuff in here. I guess I just want to. Yeah, I'm just going to take off my stuff and maybe do some maintenance. Go up, check on the bees. Turn that off. Um, yeah, just some, just some easy stuff. Anyways, for right now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was more basically just me kind of trying to settle on a house design. It needs to be bigger than it was, but I didn't anticipate that until I decided how I actually wanted to lay it out. <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. Um, but for now, guys, I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and as always, take it easy. Once again, quickly, interjecti once again, quickly interjecting, ah, uh, that should be a good-sized house. Thank you, Mr. Mercurial. I take it easy, guys.